we knew it wasn't really about our generation so much. We knew it was about the future generations. We do stand on the shoulders of the people that came before us. There is no question, but every generation has a chance to make it better. Generations are responsible for making changes in society that will eventually benefit those in the future. Billie Jean King justified this idea and continues to spread her beliefs to others using her fame. Not only was she among one of the best professional tennis players of her time, Billie Jean King fought for women to receive equal pay in sports. Before the 1970s, women who participated within society and professional sports were restricted from receiving equal rights with men in almost all aspects. As a professional tennis player, Billie Jean King worked to minimize the divide between the genders. Her groundbreaking victory in the Battle of the Sexes match against Bobby Riggs provided a platform which aided her taking a stand for not only women, but also LGBTQ members throughout the nation and the world. King was raised in an athletic family. Her brother Andy Moffitt played professional baseball, and her father Bill Moffitt was a college basketball player. Starting her sports career in softball, King's parents pushed her to transition to tennis because it was more ladylike. She grew up in a conservative family where being different was frowned upon. And I'd grown up in a homophobic environment. So it was really something, I, it was, this is the biggest struggle I've ever had in my life. Billie Jean King emerged into the public and began promoting the equality of women due to the distinct problems between the genders in the 1960s and 70s. The first action taken by the government to minimize the divide between genders was the Equal Pay Act of 1963. This aimed at abolishing the wage disparity based on gender, color, and religion. The government's success had to do with women uniting and gaining support throughout the nation. Although this act caused businesses to cease the wage gap between men and women in the work field, it was unsuccessful in regulating prize money won by women in sports. Women had already been involved in sports by this time, making this an even bigger problem. Billie Jean King was the first woman who noticed the issue and actively took a stand to make a difference. Title IX is a law that was enacted in 1972 and is still in effect today. Also known as the Education Amendment Act, it outlawed women from being excluded from programs funded by the federal government. I think when you think about Title IX, you know, people only think many times about women, but it really is about um, gender equity on both sides. So it's benefiting both men and women, boys and girls, having equitable opportunities in educational arenas around sport. And then, like I said before, about other educational opportunities. King was introduced to tennis at a young age and fell in love instantly. At just 15 years old, she started playing tennis in professional tournaments. However, Billie Jean King was unsuccessful in her first pro matches. The young all-star realized she needed to train harder and as a result started being coached by a former women's tennis professional, Alice Marble. After a series of losses to top seed players around the country, in 1961, Billie Jean King made sports headlines for the first time when she and Karen Sussman became the youngest pair to win the Wimbledon women's doubles title. After increasing her training, Billie Jean King started to dominate the court. She played with doubles partners Rosemary Cassells, Martina Navratilova, and Marie Bueno. Many of these women were included in the original nine, a group of professional women's tennis players who stood up against the unequal pay and sports between genders. People who were playing uh, very actively at that time decided they wanted to play for money too. And so that's how the Virginia Slims really got uh, organized. King was a relentless superstar who won titles and grasped the public's attention. While winning over the media, Billie Jean King developed friendships that would become very beneficial. A strong Jewish figure who advocated for women's rights throughout the 60s and 70s was Gladys Heldman. She took up tennis late in her life after marrying Julius Heldman. She created the World Tennis Magazine, which impacted the sport immensely. The 70s were King's prime years that included sweeping tournaments and emerging as the number one women's tennis player in the world. In 1971, King won 17 tournaments and achieved a win-loss record of 112 to 13. The following year was no different. King charged through 1972, winning Grand Slams without dropping a single set. She maintained her position, ranked number one in the world. 4.2. A great way to win a championship. 
strenuous, brilliant smash. Billy Jean King is the champion of the United States. Prior to the match, Riggs played the number one women's tennis player of the year, Margaret Court, in an attempt to prove women were equivalent to men in sports. Sadly, Court fell short and lost the match to Bobby Riggs. Although Margaret Court lost, more attention was brought to the women's movement in sports. Following the match, Riggs continued to taunt female tennis players, which led to Billie Jean King challenging Riggs to a match that later became known as the Battle of the Sexes. Well, I think it's going to be pretty close. However, I saw Bobby beat Margaret, and I think that he's really a tough player. So I'd have to give him the edge over Billie Jean. I think Bobby must start in as the favorite of the match. Uh, I think he's got a little bit too much uh, control of the ball and uh, know-how for the, for the girls. I think Billie Jean. You do? Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he plays uh, a very aggressive game. She's very fast. She, uh, she plays, as some people say, very much like a man. But probably more than 30,000 people are in this arena for an all-time record tennis audience anywhere in the world. 1973 is remembered today as a breakthrough in women's sports. On September 20th, 1973, millions of people gathered to watch the historic match between tennis legends Billie Jean King and Bobby Riggs. Billie Jean King's win shocked the world. Newspaper companies scrambled to print a story announcing Riggs' defeat. King had accomplished the impossible. However, people started rumors saying that the match was fixed. People today are still convinced that the Battle of Sexes match was rigged. I felt the match was fixed. Now that it was made for her to win it. And I asked her that several years later when she worked at Washington Township. And she would not answer that question, obviously. It was a pretty touchy question, but she just laughed at me. Whether or not the match was rigged, the ultimate goal was achieved. Women had justified their position in sports and society. The gap between the sexes in all aspects was reduced. Billie Jean King was the hero of all women in America and continues her legacy today. Barely mentioned before King came along, homosexuality among star athletes was unheard of. The notorious tennis star was previously married to Larry King, but amid accusations of a seven-year lesbian relationship, Billie Jean King's morals were questioned. No professional athlete before this time had ever been accused of being homosexual and had definitely not yet come out to the public. This scandal was somewhat a blessing in disguise. This is the biggest struggle I've ever had in my life. I told my PR person and I told my lawyer, I want to have a press conference and I'm going to tell the truth. And they said, you cannot do that. No one's ever done that. I said, I don't care what people have done before me. I am telling you, I have to tell the truth. Following her outstanding career, Billie Jean King got involved and advocated for many other needy causes. Her relationship with singer and songwriter Elton John continues today as she supports his AIDS Foundation. We'll get a new set of people uh, to know about the Elton John AIDS Foundation. Uh, we really uh, hope that'll happen. Um, they've given over $300 million uh, to HIV AIDS. King also connects with current all-star tennis player Serena Williams. Williams is thankful for what her friend has done for women in the sport, and their relationship stays strong to this day. Billie Jean King made history by coming out to the public. By doing this, she lost all endorsements and ultimately ruined her reputation for some time. King stays involved in the Women's Sports Foundation and is recognized as the pioneer of modern women's tennis. Instead of being seen as a great female athlete, King helped transform the title to just a great athlete. She's the, probably one of the most giving people I have ever known. I mean, there's just no such thing as being a snob or anything like that. And does she realize her greatness? Absolutely not. She thinks the greatest, greatest thing that she's going to do is around the corner. But I think one of the important things about um, Billie Jean King is you think about her as an icon, not only in sport, but she really stood up for equity and as the founder of the Women's Sports Foundation and really fighting and, and, and being advocates for gender equity. There are certain people that do certain things for certain sports. She's, she's definitely the, the pioneer of women's tennis. I would say she more than anyone else.